Ah, oh, good morning, my hearties, and a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue live on TikTok. Just for you, dinky do I say. Now then, it's Sunday morning. Nothing gets past me, and it's just after 20 minutes to 8 in the morning. That's a UK British summer time. There we are, but do tell us what time it is where you are, and of course, come and join us. How amazing is that? Welcome, welcome. Good morning from Wales. Good morning, Lou. Yakida. And I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Sunday morning. Welcome, welcome, I say. Great to have everybody together at this time of the morning for a good chat. I've got my trusty tea with me, of course, in my lovely little economy mug. <clears throat> So I can always have a sip of that, you see. What do you do for a living? Oh, I do lots of wonderful things for a living. Television, radio, newspapers, education, all these things. I am, thank you. I hope you're well. I thank you. Thank you, Lottie. Hi from the Scottish borders. Mary Doll, whereabouts are the borders are we from? Are we from the Gala? Are we from the Jedbras? Are we from the Selkirk? Are we from the Lauder? <laughs> Used to listen to you in the 90s. I think you do, guys. Absolutely very, very big in the 90s. Old Scotty McClure, of course. Fantastic stuff. Lovely to have you all with us again. It's great. I'm from Brighton. Oh, I love Brighton. Brighton down at the sea there and Hove, Eastbourne. Oh, what a lovely part of the world. Hi, Scotty. How's it going, Dinky Doo? From Hume. Ah, Mary Doll Lol. We love you in Hume. Because, of course, I used to work in border television. So, as a tiny, you may remember me reading the news to you at this time on a Sunday morning. <clears throat> we used to do a tremendous program called The Border Diary, and we kept the whole of the people of the borders and the lakes up to date. Hey from Malaysia, dinky do. Hey, I'm back. What Zoom? Hello from Ireland. We love you down in Ireland there, and dinky do, and a very good morning to you. Guys, follow me as soon as you come on, and of course, share the live. <clears throat> Media City, to be precise. Yes, indeed, I remember Media City. Very, very well. Salford Keys, it was known as in those days. Good morning, Scotty. <clears throat> Who have we got here? And we love you all too. DQ, what a lovely thing to say. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We need to build up our followers. I've been doing this now. This is my sixth week. And um, <laughs> this is really funny, this, because 600,000 people have watched these lives already. And yet, I've only got, uh, is it 14,500 uh, followers? It's very, very strange. Right, Scotty, would it be rude to ask if you're married? No, not at all, I love Her Majesty. Who on earth would have me? <laughs> Nothing rude about it. Good night from Utah, Salt Lake and the Salt Salt Lake and the Salt Flats and Riches. I can't believe that you're still with us. You should be in your bobos, sound asleep out in Utah in America. Homefirth in West Yorkshire. Oh, how much do I love Homefirth? I used to stay in Sheffield, and I would very often travel over. We had a big transmitter at Homefirth. I remember that evening of the Duke of Dundee. Dinky do, Duke of Dundee. Hello again. Hello, Immortal Dragon. How lovely to have you with us, and a very, very good morning to you. Sunday morning. Hello, Winston. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Where have you been? Opinions on the English since you're Scottish. I adore the English. They are interchangeable with us. No problem at all. I'm not so impressed with Westminster, but I do adore the English, and I've worked in England a lot. The only way to start my Sunday. Good day to you, sir. Ah, Cole Brand. Good day to you, sir. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure Live. This is the big one, TikToks. Top talk show. <coughs> Try saying that with a refreshment. Give me haggis. Oh, you can have haggis for your breakfast. You can fry it up. Very nice. Bradford, says Kyle. Kyle, I remember Bradford. 
Yes, I used to I used to broadcast on the pulse. Tremendous pulse radio. I can't sleep, says Imichis. Yes, you can. You'll listen to a few minutes of me, you'll be off like a puppy. <laughs> you need to get another phone in on the radio at nights, Gaz. I agree. I think the smartest thing the BBC could do, and this is for their survival, is put Scotty McClue on across every single one of the radio stations and maybe even the television stations at night. They would clean up, my goodness me. Or we could pop up on the telly and just do this, get the texts going, get the phone calls going, get the emails going, get the love messages from people going, send it out on the telly, a little bit of argy-bargy. <coughs> Hello, Grandfather, good morning. How are you? Not so good morning, dinky do. Yes, indeed. Good morning, Scotty. Happy Sunday, Dancing Jenny. Happy Sunday to you, my dear. Yes, indeed. If I was 20, 20 years younger, we'd go dancing. What's your favorite bird? Oh, yes, I've met some lovely birds in my time. Um, I would say my favorite bird is, oh gosh, it's difficult to say. I was watching an owl this morning. Yes, on TikTok, of course. Do you live in Glasgow? I do now. Yes, but that's probably not a forever. Celtic or Rangers, says Kyle. Kyle, my best advice is to go and see them both and then make a judgment, decide who you want to follow. And you can change, of course. There's no problem. I think everyone in the North hates Westminster as well. Well, Mick, I don't know because they all voted. You know, I mean, they'll be disappointed now. Brexit was a terrible, terrible thing. It was sold to you as a good idea, get our country back, all that stuff. But it was a real working everybody from the back and pulling the rug, you know. It was just to uh, help a few wealthy people dodge the tax. Good morning, Scotty, and a very happy Sunday, our Dr. Wolf. How lovely to have you with us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Do you have a boat? Aaron, what an interesting question. Are you actually one, you are actually one of my favorite Scotsmen, DG. You say such lovely things. Yes, thank you. Follow us as soon as you come on, the dinky do. Now, um, I read, pal, a skingman, I'm a read, a you a read. That's what I say. Hey, Scotty, from the desert of Arizona. Sean, how come you're not in your bobos in the desert of Arizona? Guys, if you're scrolling past, stop. Okay? Greetings from Sacramento. I'm going to have to come and see you in Sacramento. How amazing is that? Fantastic. We're waiting for it to snow in Bradford so we can count the public. Oh, Kyle, you can't say that. So there we are. Kyle would like to seriously apologize. I've been binge watching your YouTube videos, not a single wasted minute. Call Bran, I've made every single one of them with love for you guys. So everybody get on to the YouTube channel. Fantastic stuff. Follow us, guys. Good morning, Scotty. How are you this fine morning? Stephen, dinky-doo, I say, and a very, very warm welcome. Hey, beautiful. We're right here now. One nut. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Daddy. Uh, do you have a boat, says Aaron Poster? No, but I can always hire one if you're coming to see me. Just see what I mean. Have a good day, guys. Lovely to have you with us. Follow us as soon as you come out. I have a pet cockatiel. Yes, have you ever had a cockatoo? There we are. They're interesting. Sometimes I go outside and sit in the mud. Wondering what it feels like to be a potato. Would you like to describe it to us? Because a lot of us watching this right now have never, ever, ever, ever been a potato. Do you know what I mean? And some of us are quite thick-skinned. I mean, is it any golden wonder, I say to you? We'll speak to King Edward about it, or we'll maybe get a tune from the Maris Piper. That would be rather good. Now then, Aaron, you're, what you're doing now, you're spamming me. Do you love your friends? I don't love my friends. No, I adore my friends. <laughs> Greetings from the castle town in the Isle of Man. I'm your fan. We love the Isle of Man fan. Thank you so much and love to all you guys. What's your biggest regret in life and your happiest moment? 
Well, um, I, my only regret was uh, I once allowed a very, very bad man into my life on a business deal, and he relieved me of my life savings. So that's my only regret. Otherwise, it's je regret rien. There we are. I should maybe also have hung on to my Foss house. <laughs> my happiest moment is right this second, talking to you on TikTok Live. A very good morning to all of you. Dinky do, fantastic. Do you sleep? I sleep like a baby. It's waking up that's the actual battle, not sleeping. <laughs> New Zealand, 2E is a beautiful bird. <coughs> it sings a beautiful song. A friend of mine in Australia had a pet noisy minor bird. And this was the most gorgeous little guy. And he was telling me that sometimes the locals find them a nuisance. A noisy minor bird. Not a minor bird, but a minor. Does that make sense? Sometimes I go outside. Yes, absolutely, of course you do. Excuse me, sir. What's your advice for young people? Love being you. Love being young. Remember, you are fantastic people. Remember, you bring joy to the world. Don't ever listen to any older people criticizing the young people nowadays, because the young people nowadays are outstanding. Quite fantastic. I will show you a terrible criticism of young people. The thing is, it was written in something like 490 B.C., all right, so there you go. So just enjoy being you and get as much knowledge and as much understanding as you possibly can. Because in what seems like seconds, you'll be the same age as Scotty McClue and you'll wonder what was all that about. Hi from Russia. Privet, how lovely to have you with us from Russia. What's your thoughts on Scotland wanting independence? Scotland should never, ever, ever have got involved in the Union. The Union was dreadful jiggery-pokery. Yes, and, um, you know, Scotland was independent for thousands of years. It just the last 300 and odd, 313, they, um, you know, they, they blew it a bit, you know. But having said that, Scotland should go independent again, but... They must keep the Queen as their head of state. You, you can uh, split the parliaments. You never, ever, ever meddle with the crown. You see? Thailand has arrived. Good morning, Thailand. We love you. The King and I. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Tremendous link. We get it now. You're spamming. Hello, Scotty. Just came home. Good to see you streaming. Ah, Gucci. Lovely to have you with us from... Serbia. Yes, am I correct? I love your accent. I've always wanted to go to Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica? No, she went of her own accord. My wife's gone to the West Indies. Jamaica? No, she went of her own accord. Old English joke. You sound more English than Scottish. How very interesting, Ikra. Yes. <coughs> People say, I sound so Scottish. They can't understand me. Do you sleep? I sleep beautifully. There we've got somebody on from Greece. Uh, Yasu, Yasu, Greece. Calimera, Calimera. Help, when was the War of 1812? Now, the War of 1812, this is very interesting. They were known as the Napoleonic Wars and started really in the 1790s with sea battles like uh, the Battle of Cape Finisterre the Battle of uh, Saint Cape St. Vincent, the Battle of Camperdown, the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. Then you had the army fighting in Europe as well. <clears throat> so, 1806, I think you had the Battle of Jena, is that right? Then you had, in 1813, the Battle of Leipzig, and then all that culminated in Waterloo in 1815. So these were the Napoleonic years. That's what you're looking at there. Get a hold of Napoleon. Get a hold of Arthur Wellesley, the, um, the Duke of Wellington, and have a good old look at what was going on in Europe around that time. Because tell me this, 
what happened in sixteen in seventeen eighty nine right what was happening in Europe in seventeen eighty nine the French Revolution the rights of man Tom Paine Danton Robespierre all that was going on and then of course culminating in the freeing the people from the Bastille the jail in Paris yes on the 14th of July le 4 juillet so there you are so there's a little bit of a potted thing and of course 1812 the 1812 overture in music it was all happening yes quite a challenge for the aristocracy but 25 years later, 25 years later, in 1837, who came to the throne of the UK but Queen Victoria, married to Prince Albert, yes, from Rousnow. There we are. Help, help. So there you are. So get all that done. What part of Scotland are you from? I'm uh, from the West Coast. There we are. Jesus loves you. Jesus doesn't just love me. He adores me. Where in Ireland are you from, says Link? I'm not from Ireland, Link, but what a lovely thought. Wonderful stuff. Yasu, Yasu. Greetings from Washington. Barbecue, we love you in Washington. Are you in Washington, D.C.? Are you in Washington State? Lovely, lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo. And welcome from the capital. The only reason Scotty McClure is not your president is because I'm not an American citizen. Otherwise, I would be Scotty McClure for hashtag POTUS, hashtag Floati, first lord of the internet. Hey, from Oldham, dinky do we love you in Oldham. Oldham, what a fantastic place. My best friend was from Scotland. I'm not surprised. Hello from the Gambia in Africa. We love having you on from Africa. And good morning. Listen, say this only to close family and friends. But top of the morning to you, top of the morning to you and all, because everybody on here watching right now is close family or friends. That's what it's all about. <laughs> now, here we go. What's your favorite color? Oh, I have every color is my favorite color, including black and white. Have you played in Pink Floyd? That's a luxury I've denied myself up until now. Fantastic. I need to get a guitar out. There we are. Now, we don't know what's going on here. So I'll just dump these just in case. That's a wee troll, you never know. There we are. Scotty, I lived in Glasgow back in 1977, renovating the old tenements. They were Dr. Wolf. And what a super job they've made of them. Wonderful, wonderful. Guys, can you follow us when you come on? I bet his color is green or blue. Green, blue, brown. Um, what else have we got? Green, blue, brown, uh, black, um, purple, big on purple, indigo. Yes, magenta. There we are, that sort of stuff. Do you have a dog? Uh, not since six weeks ago, sadly, he passed away. So there we are, but a beautiful little Labrador dog, Lord Clyde, LMAO, LMAO user. Are you Jamaican? Because Jamaican me crazy. He cry, you're so clever. We love it. Jamaican we laugh. Um, I bet he has a cockatoo. Um, no, 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 we don't have a cockatoo. Uh, can I get a sheesh, please? Yes, sheesh. There we are. You're so pretty. I thank you, user. You're very, very, very kind. Very nice of you to say so. Good morning. Good morning from Germany. Guten Tag. Nicht Deutsche sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. Fantastic. Is Scotland better or Ireland? Finchy, can you get something into that wonderful brain of yours? Nowhere is better than anywhere else. It's just different. Do you see what I mean? Scotland is stunningly beautiful. Ireland is stunningly beautiful. The people of Scotland are stunningly beautiful, apart from one bad man. And the people of Ireland are stunningly beautiful. 
No bad men. There we are. Pip, pip, doodly do. Have you inherited a stamp collection? You'll be willing to sell. My stamp collection was my father's, and it got stolen in a house robbery, so some wee druggie probably shoved the proceeds up his nose, or something like that. Oh, Flower of Scotland. This show and the people are so much fun. Do you know you are 69304? I was just thinking the same. Never. Have I done a show with such fun people? And I have done a lot of fun shows with a lot of fun people. You know, 50,000 hours. I'm named after the Isle of Arran because I love Scotland. Well, there was a boat used to service the Isle of Arran called the Arran Mail. And she was one of David McBrain's boats. And she used to come in. I think she was built in 1947. The Aran Mail. Look her up. Talk to some of the older islanders. We love Aran. And, of course, I'm thinking of Corrie. I'm thinking of Lamlash. I'm thinking of Loch Ranza. I'm thinking of Whiting Bay, where I've stayed. I'm thinking of Brodick itself, of the castle, of the Montrose family and the Hamilton family, members of whom I've been fortunate enough to meet. Very interesting people. There we go. Now then, <clears throat> OMG, sorry. Not at all, Patricia. What clan are you? Ooh, lots of clans. So there we are. Have a good morning. I'm going to bed in Chester. I am not surprised you're going to bed in America because it must be, what are we talking, three o'clock in the morning? What's up from New Orleans, man? How are you doing? Man, it's lovely to have you on from New Orleans. We need to do a bit of jazz together and hit the scene, throw a few shapes. You'd be such a cool person to be friends with. Use a be friends, it's not a problem. So there we go. Now, who we got here? Why are you so moody, Isha? Am I moody? Oh, wow. Scotty, what do you think of Edward VIII? I think the man himself was actually a very interesting man. And uh, <coughs> he was a decent fellow. He was an incredibly popular Prince of Wales. Uh, the only problem he had, he obviously had a weakness for pretty women. Uh, it won't be the first. But um, the other thing I have to say about him was that he had a job getting his head round the whole royal thing. His father was George V, the Queen's grandfather, who was a great old boy, but he was tough. He was very hard. He was the one that said, I was frightened of my father, and he was frightened of his father, and my children will be frightened of me. And he had lovely children. He had, um, well, David, Edward VIII. He had Bertie, George VI, the Queen's father. He had um, George, the Duke of Kent, who sadly died when the Sunderland aircraft crashed in August 1942, up in the very, very north of Scotland, up in Sutherland there. Um, who else did he have? He had Princess Mary, who was very nice, the Princess Royal, who married um, a, the Earl of Harewood, yes, and moved to Harewood House or Harwood House. And then he had Prince John, who was epileptic and sadly died aged 14. Uh, and he was a super child as well, Prince John, but because he had epilepsy, they didn't want any sort of um, anything to mar the reputation of the royal family. Uh, so it was very difficult times for the royal family at that time. Queen Mary, his mother, she was a tough character as well. He used to say, she had, Mama has ice in her veins. So, you know, if that, he was a bit eccentric as well. I mean, the gardeners, one time, he snipped all the beautiful peaches that they were growing in the hot houses. He was a challenge for his secretary. You know, I'm trying to think who his secretary would be at the time. I think, I think it, Tommy Lascelles, Captain Lascelles, Lassels would be uh, would be one of the secretaries at the time, and I'm trying to think who else he would have. But um, he 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 felt very very constrained with royal life. He had a, a huge bit of normality about him as well, 
And when his father said to him, Never forget who you are, he said, And who was I? You see? So that was him. But uh, a very forward-looking guy, and uh, he would have been a very, very good king, but his brother, of course, made an excellent king, but a great personal challenge to himself. So there we are. There's a bit of detail for you guys. Baby ducklings wake us. By cleaning our narrowboat hull, the best way to wake up. Do you know, Colbrand, I can remember waking up on board the boat and uh, the water was just slapping the sides and uh, the sun was coming in and dancing on the, uh, on the ceiling. It was beautiful as I looked up in the, uh, in the cabin. What's your views on LGBT? Well, it doesn't make any difference to me, Martin. Everybody's welcome. We're all inclusive on here. So it should be LGBTS streets. Jesus loves you. Jesus doesn't just love us. He adores us, and we adore Jesus. There we are. Oi, 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 big fella. Dink it. <laughs> I say to you, lovely to have you with us, guys. My grandkids keep me young, of course. So there we are. It's wonderful. Can you say hi to Luke and happy birthday? I can, Roller. Pardon me. Hello from New Orleans. Good morning, Scotty boy. Brian, how lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Um, so there we are. Brian, if you see Pat, tell him I'm asking for him. Wonderful. Uh, I did come off the motorway and look in to see him, but of course, it's some time since he was there. Hello from Portland, Oregon in the USA. We love you, Portland. We love you, Oregon. We love the USA. Dinky doo. Do you know that a huge amount of Scotty McClure's viewers on TikTok Live are from America? It's just amazing. Hello from the Czech Republic. Guys, if you haven't followed me, could you be kind enough to please do so? I know it's very easy to forget, and I don't want to go on at you, but it really matters to get you following. So please follow as soon as you come on, and dinky do. Scotland, dinky do. Can you say hi, Luke? Yes, indeed. Um, how is that independent? I'm American, so I don't know. How is what independent? Bobby. Morning, Scotty, from Belfast. We love to have you with us from Belfast. And a very good morning to you. I'm just saying to you. Hello from Texas. Dinky Doo. Canada says hello. Now, guys, we love you in Canada. And Dinky Doo, good morning to Canada. Or uh, should I say, yes, it is good morning. There we go. Fantastic. Now, what else have we got here? Do you like the sea? Well, I used to work at sea. So, you know, I have seagoing experience. Yes, I adore it. I mean, obviously, it can get wild. But I worked in what we called an MFV, a motor fishing vessel. You know, and they were so beautifully built, and they operated so well. There we go. Uh, I'm a bit rusty with Scottish, but... Something, something. Um, yes, it means how are you? Kamraha u hachima maha. There you are. Scotty for president. I hope your president's wife will be Lynn. <laughs> right. I look out for a Lynn. <laughs> Hello from Scotty to be my first lady. Fantastic stuff. Do you think Scotty McClure would make a great hashtag POTUS? But I'm not an American citizen. But if you scroll down the TikTok videos, you'll see Lord Clyde and I sitting, and I explain to you in one of the videos, are you a farmer? I'm a mortal good farmer. Have you agrarian or have you the beasts? I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Oh, yes, not easy. Uh, fantastic. Who have we got? You're from Canada. You mean the place of birth. So there we are. Don't know what that's all about. So there we go. Salam and welcome. Uh, welcome, Sparks. Salam. Good morning from Bristol in the UK. Good morning, Bristol. You want to pop that statue back up in Bristol. There we are. Otherwise, you're sanitizing slavery. There we are. So get the statues back up and don't let the mob ever rule again. How are you? Dinky Doo, just going to have a sip of tea. Luke, thank you for my beautiful gift. 
Ooh, that's lovely, that. Absolutely lush. <laughs> ah, do you play golf? I've never teed off in my life. So there you are. But I did once get a call from the golf course, and they said, have you lost a wee black Labrador? And I said, oh, is he with you? I hadn't lost him at all. He just liked to go exploring. He said, yes. I said, where are you? He said, we're on the first tee of the golf course, and we can't get on with our game. I said, why not? I said, because he doesn't play golf. He said, no, but he brings the ball back every time we drive off. So we Clyde, who was a great little retriever, you'll see him on a TikTok video, and that was with his gummy leg. Yes, and he was rushing out and getting the ball and bringing it back and putting it back at their feet. So they couldn't get on with their game. LMAO, dinky do, LMAO, use a 6930. Free Palestinians as Mark, absolutely. And Israel too. The two of them need to get round the table and stop their nonsense. Or Scotty McClue will go out as an envoy to the Middle East, sit them round the table and read them the riot act. Oh no, that might not be the best thing to do. Anyway, um, I will and I'll say if you don't start behaving, I'll phone Uncle Joe, and that will that will sober them up. I can tell you. Love the Scottish accents. These are no words for how spectacularly amazed I am. For some reason, isn't that beautiful? The Lone Wanderer. No words. <coughs> Ethnic cleansings are sparks. I know what you mean, sparks. Uh, so there we are. You're like the guy in Red Redemption Two, the game. I, uh, you must forgive me. That's a little luxury I've denied myself up until now. Favorite book? I have so many favorite books, Josh. I wouldn't know where to start. If you want to see the first chapter or hear the first chapter of Scotty McClue's latest thriller, get yourself onto the YouTube channel, put in Scotty McClue, deliver us from evil. All right, get that up and you'll get chapter one. Scotty, your favourite movie. Do you know, we were discussing that, the imitation game, the latest one, with uh, Dominic Cumberbatch and um, what else? He played Alan Turing, who cracked the code at Bletchley Park during the Second World War, cracked the Enigma code, shot in the war by two years, and poor Alan was gay, and he took his own life. They chemically castrated him for just for being gay. And the poor soul took his own life, aged, I think, about 54. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. To support soldiers. Well, everybody should support soldiers because the soldiers are just doing a job. And the soldiers are ordered by the politicians. And they happen to be very, very good at the job. So politicians need to be very careful about uh, mobilizing the military. Is it on the movie database? I can add it. Yeah, well, I would, the imitation game. I would also add the guns of Navarone. I would add um, Where Eagles Dare. I would look for Tunes of Glory, based in a Scottish regiment, uh, based on a Scottish regiment, based in Scotland after the Second World War. Fantastic. Gordon Jackson's in it. And uh, who else are John Mills, uh, Alec Guinness? Less soldiers, less wars. No, 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 no. Less soldiers, more death. Remember, soldiers are actually peacekeepers. That thing, sorry. Sorry, that's my tea. Morning, Scotty. It's been a wee while. It's been far too long, Kenders. Don't leave it so long next time. Morning, my. You okay? Uh, you're like a Scottish version of David Attenborough and John Hammond from Jurassic Park. I love it. I thank you. I'll do you my David Attenborough impressionation. Are we ready? Nothing is stirring in the frozen landscape. Then across the Arctic tundra, we see a slight movement. It is the one occupant of this forgotten place, the Arctic fox. Any good? <laughs> there we are. No, I'm sorry. 
That meant you said you had a movie, or did I mishear that? No, uh, um, I want to be in a movie. Yes, so if anybody's got a contact in Hollywood, I want a small cameo role in a movie. Uh, I shall play a field marshal, an admiral of the fleet, a marshal of the Royal Air Force, uh, or a baddie in James Bond. Yes, a baddie where people like, um, you know, Blofeld and Goldfinger are, are frightened of me. <laughs> These sound interesting. I'll add them to a watch list tracker. Yes, do, do. Tora, 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 says Carl Brand. Don't take that as an order now, everybody. Uh, hello, good PM to you. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Nice to listen to you on Century. Yes, wonderful. Anti imperialism, quite right. Good morning, everybody, and dinky doo. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lot of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, the world's most humble man, and the father of feminism. And here I am, just for you, saying dinky doo. Oh my god, that was amazing, dude. What was amazing? Uh, that's such a good impression. Oh, yes, David Attenborough. Did you like that? Breaking. Oh, no, 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 Lester. I will check that out. My goodness me. If that's the case, it's heartbreaking. I won't actually see it just now because I haven't checked it out. I subscribe to your YouTube channel, Big Mo. Everybody should subscribe to Scotty McClue on YouTube. Guys, you'll see the link to it. If you just lower your eyes on my bio, yes, you can either click on the Instagram logo, and there you'll get a link to Instagram and YouTube, or you can just scroll down, and there in huge black letters is the link to the YouTube channel. Can I suggest everybody clicks that and um, subscribes? You know, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel is... Uh, Probably the world's best kept secret. Yes. Thank you for subscribing. That's awesome. I love that. Did you like that one, Luke? Are you going to sing for us tonight? Well, user, I haven't been singing because of COVID, so I'm not all warmed up. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Uh, R.I.P. Sean Connery. Do you know that my um, aunt... What in a shop, a lovely, lovely lady, sadly, she was knocked down and killed in a car accident, age 48, but um, she worked in a shop, and uh, in came Sean Connery, she looked up, she was working behind the counter, and she looked up, and she said, here was this amazing, handsome man, and it was Sean Connery, and they were filming from Russia with love, ha <laughs> ha! Scotty, have you read much on socialist or anarchist theory? Um, <clears throat> a fair old bit, but the problem with it is so much of it is politics of envy. Yeah? Now, I'll give you an example of politics of envy. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> Don't worry about the cough. I've had it for uh, 21 years. Um, in 1948, the Minister for Fuel and Power was Manny Shinwell, Lord Shinwell, who was a terrific character, but he was very, very labour. He'd been brought up in a little flat in Glasgow. Not that that's anything to do with anything, but it was. It had put upon him politics of envy, and he had a feeling that if People were rich, you know, there was that chip on the shoulder. And the worst thing that uh, that he ever did, well, he maybe did worse things that I don't know about, but the worst thing, he was very popular, Manny Shinwell. I remember him being in the telly in his 90s, and, uh, and the audience loved him. And he'd been about for a very long time. He was one of your original Clydeside, Red Clydesiders, People like John McLean and Jimmy Maxton and, and folk like that. So Glasgow was a very much a, a socialist city. The Red Clyde side after the First World War, 1918 onwards, when they had to lock 
the uh, the um, Highland Light Infantry up in the Maryhill Barracks because they were frightened they might join the Red Clydesiders. So people were very, very disenchanted and dischuffed after the First World War, you know, because they'd been treated so appallingly badly and lost most of a generation. <clears throat> so anyway, Manny Shinwell was there as an active politician. Yes, uh, Willie Gallagher was another great socialist in Glasgow at the time. So these were these were incredible people. And, uh, and of course, Tom Johnston, who became the Secretary of State for Scotland, you know, he published a socialist newspaper. But socialists were regarded with suspicion at the time. And, of course, communism, they were regarded with suspicion. That sort of idea, because they wanted peace. And Britain at that time were very keen on war. You know, everything was war. So, um, anyway, there's a huge, huge house um, in South Yorkshire called Wentworth Woodhouse. And Wentworth Woodhouse, the guy who was the Earl of uh, uh, Earl Fitzwilliam at the time, was a lovely guy called Peter Fitzwilliam, who was a war hero. And sadly, Peter died in an air crash along with President Kennedy's sister, Kathleen. So just the two of them, they were friends and they were going for a weekend to the south of France. And the, the plane, it was a de Havilland dove, I think, crashed into a mountainside. But um, Peter, just before he died, he had inherited Wentworth Woodhouse, which is, I think it's a calendar house. I think there'll be about 360 um, rooms in Wentworth Woodhouse, maybe more. This place is the biggest country house in Europe. All right, and it was built in the 1700s. It's got two houses. It's got a Palladian frontage, and it's got a Baroque house behind the Palladian frontage. Anyway, that's why the stables look like Versailles. Anyway, that's by the by. It became a, a physical college and what have you. And one of the families was a socialist, Aunt Mabel, the Lady Mabel College for Physical Education in Barnsley. Right? In Rotherham, Rotherham and Barnsley, between Rotherham and Barnsley. So, you had that. Now, Manny Shinwell became the Minister of Fuel and Power. You wonder where I'm going with this. And in 1948, January the 1st, you had Vesting Day, when the government nationalised the coal mines. And the Fitzwilliams had been mine owners. And they'd been very, very generous mine owners. They were a very popular family. And the grounds of the big house were open to everyone. The miners could walk with their families on a Sunday, things like that. Beautiful, beautiful formal gardens. Manny Shinwell ordered the ploughing up of the gardens just to get at the rich man in his palace. That, to me, was appalling. So there's where I'm coming from, because these places are national assets. Remember, you can never, ever own anything. You can only curate it. Okay, there we are. Good morning, my new friend, Dinky-Doo. Easy geezer, what you drinking this morning? You must not assume every day. How's your lifestyle? I've just subscribed to your YouTube. Uh, your YouTube, thank you very much. NRG, you need to go. You know, we don't mention that on here. So there we are. Nothing funny, nothing clever about it. Brain, you're going as well. Sorry, Brian, you're going as well because you should know better. There we are. So grow up, guys, as soon as you can. Follow us as soon as you can. There's NRG has gone. The real question is honey or no honey with your tea? I've never, I don't think, put honey in tea. You know, but I do like it on toast. There we are. Now, what have we got? Is that a smoker's cough? Uh, probably. I haven't smoked for 22 years, but I've still got the cough. Scotty, my boy, dinky do. That's so interesting. Thanks for sharing this stuff. Not at all, Luke. Um, it's just a bit of information for you. And those of you who live in South Yorkshire, in Rotherham, in Sheffield, in Barnsley, you'll know Wentworth Woodhouse. You know, tremendous stuff. 
There we are. Now, what have we got here? Scotty, how's the weather? The weather is stunning. I've got to head out. Good morning. Not at all. Lovely to have you with us and a very good morning to you. Tremendous stuff. Now, what have we got here? Do you have... Do you have... That's interesting. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't recognize these initials. Morning, Scotty, on the anniversary of D-Day. Yes, indeed, the 6th of June, 1944. D-Day. Tremendous. Your knowledge is astounding. Didn't you do? I thank you, Neil. There we are. Well, it's there for everybody, you see. Uh, when you put this on social media platforms, you get abused terribly. People telling you you're mentally ill and you, you, the doctor will be coming around and because they don't understand the facts <laughs> and they've got nothing to come back to you with. So they start accusing you of being daft. Uh, follow us as soon as she comes on. The Reverend Cass, good morning. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, there, do you support BLM? Well, everybody does, because we all used to be black, so we're supporting ourselves. How many sugars do you have in your tea? Do you put milk in first? No sugar now. I used to take sugar long, long time ago. Hello from Belfast. Good morning, Belfast. Lovely to have you with us. How old are you? Says FPLQ. Nobody knows. I could be between 28 and 2 million because I'm a time traveler and I wasn't born. You see, I was knitted. There we are. One thing I'd like to meet everybody coming on your life. There we are. Thank you very much indeed. I respect the 6th of June. 6th of June, 1944. So there we are. Incredible. My father would be 22. He'd uh, uh, already been into Holland, into Market Garden. My birthday was yesterday, so I'm just recovering. <laughs> would you rather tw fight 20 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I would rather never, ever fight anything. So there you go. Yes, and nobody would ever fight me. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Who have we got here? Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Good morning, Scotty, says Free Finery. Good morning, Free Finery. How lovely to have you with us. And a very, very big dinky-doo. Scotty McClue on Sunday morning, just for you, TikTok Live. Now, guys, I've done a lot of TikTok videos. Make sure you like and share every one of them. Also, can you all follow me? I know it's great to say, oh, you don't bother following me. Please, everyone, if you haven't followed Scotty McClue, if you've got a TikTok account, you should be following Scotty McClue because this is TikTok's top talk show. Try saying that with a refreshment. Hey, how are you? Dinky do, everybody. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Oliver. Lovely to have you with us. Have a good day, Dinky do. I'm going to Rotterdam on the Hull boat. How marvelous. Off to Rotterdam. I swear I know you. You will do. Two billion people worldwide know Scotty McClue. Is that not amazing? So when somebody says to me, are you famous? I say, well, I don't know about that, but I'm very well known. <laughs> three minute videos. Have you done the three minute videos? Yes, I've got them there. You'll see them there. I swear I know you from somewhere. I'm just not sure where. Of course you'll know me. Radio, newspapers, television, you know. I'm making an offer in a unit tomorrow to buy. I've got the confidence to do it from you. Sedge, I wish you all the best with that. I hope it goes well. Dinky-doo, I say. It will do. Scotty, can you speak Afrikaans? Sadly, I can't. So there we are. But for my East Africans watching, I say to you, Jumbo! Fantastic. In Swahili. Scotty, I've not been here in a while. Do you remember me? Noah, of course I remember you. How could we ever forget you? You're an absolute top man. You're a great supporter of us all, Sedge. You are beautiful, beautiful people. I can't remember. I've met many, many beautiful people in my life. I've only met one bad man. One bad man who took money off me in a business deal, you know? And uh, apart from that... 
beautiful, beautiful people. Incredible. So there we go. Dinky dear me heart is. Did you used to be on the radio? I was on the radio till last year. So there we are. Scotty McClue's radio career is 29 years old in a couple of weeks. What about that? 29 years. We're Scotty McClue on the wireless just for you. Stay strong. You will rise again. Do you know, Sedge, it's very interesting. But there is something very, very big in the pipeline for Scotty McClue. Now, I don't know what it is. I'm just telling you. I feel it in all of my water. There we go. So, uh, you know, it's happening. It just needs one very switched on television producer to say, can you come and do what you do on my television station for an hour in the evening? And we take phone calls, we take texts, we take emails, we have messages of love, and uh, we chat. Great, do you have Scotty merchandise? No, Sedge, but work on it. Can you see the badge in my hat? Do you see that there? Scotty McClue, did you do? You'll not see it. Hold on a second. I think we need to check the mirroring here. Yep, can you see it now? See the badge, Scotty McClue. Thank you, do. Massive shout out to the great people of Hartlepool. Good morning, Hartlepool. Please look after the monkeys. I say, yay, says Sedge. So I think people would like a Scotty McClue badge, you know, and that's for starters. Maybe a Scotty McClue bonnet. The police stopped me and they said, has your hat been checked? <laughs> Follow us, guys. Can you please say I need a wee scotch? No, Delana, because I don't need a wee scotch. Awesome badge. I don't drink alcohol. Hi, I'm from Livingston. Liverpool uh, is in Livingston, is it? Aha, welcome. It's 12.34 a.m. here in San Diego and California. We love you in San Diego and California, and we say good morning to you. Wonderful to have you with us. I'll maybe come and see you when I go to Hollywood. You okay, Scotty? You seem sad. No, no, no. I'm absolutely okay. I'm just probably a little bit emotional about how lovely all the people on TikTok are. You know, it might be that. The hat's grand. Yes, no, no, I am not sad at all. Trust me. Bathgate here, Scotty. You should do a range of badges and hats. Ah, yes, absolutely. Uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Share everything with Scotty McClue. Get yourselves onto the YouTube channel. Very, very important. Has everybody been on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel? And uh, subscribe. All right, so that would be great. Good, good T-shirts. Yes, indeed. We'll get the merch, but let's get TikTok famous first. We need to see one million followers. <laughs> a badge featuring yourself doing a big thumbs up. Uh, uh, one of them. You're a top lad, Scotty. You're very kind, John. Thank you very, very much. Yay, says user. Yay, user. How amazing is that? Fantastic. Right, uh, lots and lots to talk about. We've had a tremendous morning. Um, you, you bring up some really interesting things. Who's your favorite ever singer, Scotty? Wow, Stephen. Um, I think I have two. No, I have three. Three singers, and they're all fairly classical. And my three favorite singers would be Kenneth McKellar. Now, this man is just outstanding. And, of course, I remember him. He was a director of Radio Clyde. He's from Paisley in Scotland. Sadly, no longer with us. He just passed away a few years ago there. At, and I think he was around 85. He was at his daughter's in America. One of the nicest men you could ever meet. And um, one of the finest singers. So Kenneth McKellar, look him up and try and hear some of his stuff. He's a high tenor and he, he just can reach for notes without stretching, if you know what I mean. My other two are ladies and they were Kathleen Ferrier, 
who sadly died. She died of cancer aged 40 in 1952. So I didn't know Kathleen personally. Um, and she was uh, absolutely outstanding. What is life without thee? Oh, the Largo from, uh, from uh, Handel's Xerxes. Oh, so there we are. So where are ye walk? Kenneth McKellar, Kathleen Ferrier. Another great one was uh, Norma Proctor. Norma was a very good friend of mine, and Norma only passed away about two years ago. She lived down in uh, Lincolnshire, in Cleethorpes, and uh, Norma was just outstanding. Last night of the proms, yes, Norma Proctor and uh, Malcolm Sargent, all these wonderful people. So there we are. Um, so Norma was a, a tremendous lady, and she was a great friend of Kathleen Ferrier's. And when you hear Norma singing, it's almost indistinguishable from hearing Kathleen singing. So think about that. So there you go. Can you play the squeeze box? I don't have it with me this morning. So my apologies. So there are schools there. Schools, I say. But uh, I don't have the squeeze box with me. Um, now, I'm just looking at the time. It's time I wasn't here. Guys, it's been an absolute joy being with you this morning. Remember to stay fabulous. You are beautiful, beautiful people. Who's your favorite author? Oh, so many. Alistair MacLean. When I was a child, Enid Blyton, Beatrix Potter. Um, who else have we got? E. E. Milne. I am sad, says Sedge. Don't be sad. Watching in Scotland and Hamilton. Uh, where are you from? Yes, I have to go, Sedge. Oh, I see. Hugs to you, Scotty. Thanks, user. 69304. English, says Steve. Thank you. Scottish, actually. But uh, we are interchangeable. And I have to dash. It's been fun. 69300. It's been immense fun. <laughs> and that's what these lives were designed for. There was so much negativity on the news, on television, on radio. I thought the people deserved better. So, Scotty McClue, live on TikTok, just for you. Get following, and off we jolly well go. The best voice I've ever heard, Ghost, Kenneth McKellar, Kathleen Ferrier, Norma Proctor. Which one are we talking about? Where is your mask? Yes, well, we're two meters away from you, so you're all right, but my mask is sitting on the table. There we are, a dinky do and followers as soon as you come on. Look at every single one of my videos. Tap my portrait and um, make sure you're following and then look at every single one of the videos. Like them and share them, guys, because they are for fun. All right, dinky do. I have to dash. Hello, Jovi. And I say to you, au revoir. Right, I'll sing you the goodbye song. <laughs> Good to see you for a third night in a row, Scotty. Thank you. Breathe the way God intended you to do so. Absolutely. Intercostal, diaphragmatic, as opposed to clavicular. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain au revoir and a cheery o. Cheery o, my darlings. Have a gorgeous day and dinky doo. Ta la last.